Hi there guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to tie the ever faithful trod rig and this incorporates a hook which is called a trolley hook and as you can see from the big image there the actual eye of the hook is um, out turned so it points away from the point of the hook rather than in similar but it's exactly the same pattern as the one I showed you within the wafter rig um, this is then followed by a material called mouth trap which is a high memory um, very stiff monofilament as you can see there so every time you bend it one way it springs exactly right back to where it was before um, so that's the main components of the rig you will also be using a crimp to actually instead of tying knots but crimping with this it allows you to actually it actually breaks at a stronger breaking strain than you would with a knot so it's, it makes the rig much much more stronger um, then we'll be using a trodic tool, which is this tool here. This helps you form the perfect circular um, look to your the D on the back of the hook, as well as your loops further down the section for where you attach your swivel to. So to start off this hook link, I will take like strip away, will take away about eight to ten inches. A lot of people like to do about six, four, four to six inches. I like to do a little bit more, just gives me that more to play with, just in case there's any problems. Um, as you can see there straighten up the hook link and it's just literally it bends back to a circular motion like that which will makes this hook link perfect for the chog rig. Um, once you've stripped that off you will need to take your hook like so exactly the same threading thread it away thread it through the eye of the hook towards the point um, and in this case you want to leave a nice uh, long tag end like so to form your D at the end of the rig. Um, same, exactly the same attached to the hook because it's not, it's not, I like to use six turns so there's one, two, three, four, five and six. Um, I like to go back down over the knot a couple of times, it just stops the knot from springing around and it holds it in place. Then you'll thread your hook link back through the eye of the hook towards the point once again like so. In this case, because it's a stiffer material, I like to use a rig puller just to uh, bed that knot down on the hook nicely so it won't slip away once you're tying the rig. Um, as I said here, you've got a nice long tag end here which is going to form what we call the D, which actually attach a bait to. So I like to cut that off at an angle to get a nice little point on there, makes it easier to thread back through through the eye of the hook. Um, you have a tag end, pull it out of the way so it allows you to thread it back through, push that tag end back through the eye of the hook like so and as you can see there you've got a nice circle there which is actually what we call the D um, you want to pull that down so that D is actually not formed completely it's right up against the knot and you'll want to trim away so you're left with about five or six mil like so and the next method the next step for that is you'll need to grab your lighter to blob the actual section down because it's high memory filament you can blob it down into a nice big circular bob at the end and that won't ever come out of the actual eye of the hook so, so you get your, your uh, lighter on just hover the actual monofilament next to the flame as you can see there on um, it catches on light so then what you want to do that little blob at the end just flatten it down with the other side of the lighter like so and then you'll push that back towards your eye of the hook grab your trolley tool pull it through and as you can see there it allows you to form that lovely circular D shape at the back of the hook there you can attach your hook link onto. That's most of the rig tie already um, the next step is you need to grab yourself a swivel which is one of these which is one of those um, which you are going to which will allow you to attach that to your main line um, when it comes to that step in the actual when you're going out fishing and you want to attach your hook link to your line just use a swivel like so um, as I said earlier we'll be using crimps in this case I'm using a small 0.6 millimeter crimps double barrel crimps um, which they are very tiny as you can see there the size of my hand they're what you call a double barrel crimp so effectively they look as if they're like a double barrel on a shotgun um, you thread your first one through the first barrel thread on your swivel 
and then what you do next is your thread your tag end back through that second barrel leaving a leaving a loop of about five or six millimeters like so and then to finish that off you'll grab your crimping tool which you'll insert your crimp into the small crimp hole section where it will actually be labeled on the side of the pliers and as you can hear here there nice click that means the actual crimp is embedded down and tightened around that monofilament which give it a bit more extra pressure towards the end um, then you will need to trim away your tag end as you did on the wafter rig like so no need to blob that because the crimp will hold it in perfectly straight and as I was saying about earlier that nice circular shape of a chod rig so just keep that and just work it around you will leave you with a nice curve and there we have it that is effectively your chod rig section tied hope you enjoyed that guys hope it was helpful and the next tutorial we'll incorporate this section of the chod rig again I won't tie it up again as you can follow it through from the actual this tutorial the next step all you'll be doing is tying an extra boom section from this end of the swivel to another swivel at the other end but this whole component here stays exactly the same so if you tied a chod rig already and you want to use a hinge stiff rig just use your chod rig section add your boom section which I'll show you on the next tutorial and you'll be good to go hope this was helpful guys I'll be back next with the hinge stiff rig tutorial and then followed by the snowman tutorial and I hope this was helpful thanks for listening